Oh my god. Oh my god, I'm losing brain cells with this sh I'm losing brain cells. What is this right now? Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for some more Persona 3 Reload the Answer. Except, we still don't have the answer. And this group is as dumb as a room full of OnlyFans models. 3 hours, 41 minutes in. I have no idea how long this shit is. I want to finish it in this video though. I don't know if it's possible. Oh, can I go here? I mean, don't play this lame-ass fucking song. I have no reason to be here. I'm leaving. Play Color Your Night, man. That's the best fucking song on the whole soundtrack. This game is basically a soundtrack with a game uh, included. Uh, one thing <laughs> that has been brought to my attention via myself is this motherfucker right here. Uh -huh. I was thinking, I was like, dude, I've, I've heard this voice before. I kept thinking to myself, I've heard this voice before. Somewhere, I've heard this fucking chick, bro. I've heard her somewhere. It's from... The fucking girl from the Amazing Digital Circus. You guys know- you guys remember that one meme that was just like- It wasn't even a fucking meme. Well, yeah, I guess it was a meme. But it was- Yo. It was a meme that was going viral on the internet for like a good two weeks. It was the fucking jester bitch from that, like, YouTube video. Now that I know that, I can't unhear it, bro. I can't unhear it. This motherfucker just gave me a flower, bro. You're not hitting, dog. I'm not letting you hit. So one thing I mentioned in the previous video regarding this DLC is the fact that so far, I'm enjoying it. It's just good to be back on this, like, hmm. oh shit. A successor unit I'm enjoying the fact that I'm back on this game. This was such a fun oh, game. A treasure and I'm enjoying the fact that I'm back on it. Um, it's just the fact that this does feel a bit repetitive. Like, it's basically one big dungeon again. It's basically like going through Tartarus all over again. Which is... I don't know. I feel like there could be more to it. I'm sure it'll get juicy at some point. You see, I'm not here for a 100% run. If I wasn't filming this shit, I would probably just, like, fight every single person I see in these dungeons. Because I'm filming, bro, I'm gonna keep real. Don't nobody want to see me do turn-based combat for hours on end. Like, that shit, like, that is not entertaining, bro. Nobody's gonna want to sit here and watch me do turn-based combat for hours. It's funny how, like, I skip all the optional shit, and then when, like, I run into a hard fight, I'm like, dude, why am I strong, strong enough for it? Yeah, these motherfuckers are models, bro. They would low-key eat this fucking... They would eat their modeling, up. The way they all be walking... At the end of their that fights, great, sister. dog, they could eat up a little red carpet walk. All of them, all of them got stalled. Even the robot. Look at, look at, look at these dumb motherfuckers. I'm that again. Look at these. And it's in the form of a human. This is exactly what I said at the very beginning of the video. Huh? Here we go. Sorry. Another door. Maybe like another flashback or something. Oh, it's this dumb motherfucker. Man, I get no bitches. <laughs> Life sucks. That you better not be talking about me. You better not be talking about shit. Uh, you better not be talking shit behind my back. Seriously? Okay, I'm about to say. Drunk on cooking wine? Mm -hmm. That's damn pathetic. Even for a deadbeat dad. Cooking wine? What the fuck is cooking wine? Hey, I'm gonna take a shot today, bro. I don't drink, actually. What but, am I gonna do back. now? I don't drink at all. I don't even do this shit, either. Oh, dude, none of that. What's up, Pooch? Have I seen you around here before? Like, dead ass, bro. I've literally, let me show you guys. I've had this bottle since my fucking birthday, and I have not touched it. I have not opened it. I've not touched it since then. Yo, it's Junpei. Yo, run them pockets, bro. Oh, hey, guys. Aw, why the long <laughs> face? You said we're in different homerooms now. <laughs> you remember we used to shove you in lockers? Nah. Only thing sad here is your IQ. That's such a low IQ roast, though. You literally, that's such a five, like, come on, bro. What are you, 10? That's a stupid ass roast. <laughs> Still in denial, huh? Come on, face it, man. Yukari Takaba is way out of your league in the first place. He really tried to hit. I never expected her to hook up with that new transfer student right off the bat, though. She didn't hook up with him, though. Yes, yeah, she's into the dark and mysterious type. That motherfucker wasn't even dark and mysterious. He was just fucking... Lo he was a lonely loser. Look, man, for forget that. Let's get going. I know a guy who knows a guy who can grab us. You know a guy who knows a guy. Wait, it's Japan, though. You guys are already of age. Isn't the drinking age in Japan, like, what am I? Is it 16, 17, 18? I'm looking that shit up right now. Legal drinking age. What? Come on. Oh, shit. Le Legal drinking age in, in Japan is 20, believe it or not. Which is weird, because I know most people give America shit for it being 21. But in Japan, it's 20. 
Dude, I already said no. I know in fucking Mexico. <laughs> Bro, South America is not real when it comes to that shit. I remember when I was in um, Dominican Republic, Mexico, like those air, like I've been to the, those two places a couple times. And I think the youngest I went, I was like 15, I'm gonna say. 14? Maybe 14. I think I was like 14, maybe. Dog, everywhere you walk, they are offering drinks, bro. They're offering you alcohol. I was like 14, bro, and I would walk through the resort, and there was always like some dudes, they low-key like side puzzles and shit, offering cigars, offering smokes, offering drinks, and I was like 14. Like, they don't give a fuck, bro. They do not care. They're trying to make a buck off tourists, well, obviously, but like, like, I'm the only one nursing your broken like that's, tonight. they're obviously, they, they look at you and they see money, but it's still like, what's behind the money that's, Dude, like, they I'm don't care. You, I still have a shot. Yeah, alright bro, I thought I had a shot at my fucking teacher in high school and that shit didn't work out. <laughs> you know, your smile reminded me of something as well, or rather, someone I want to protect, not for my family's sake, but for my own. Wait, you mean like a lover? Look. Better fucking not be. Do you think this is funny, Lori? Tread lightly. Dang, tough crowd. Anyway, I kind of get you, I think. Times we're all together, well, those are the memories I treasure most. Okay, on the topic of that, though, low-key. Oh, she got not that great. Bro, tell me out, right? You fall in love with someone. This is such a hypothetical, like, I don't even want to mention this because this just seems like the worst thing that could happen to somebody. You fall in love with someone and you're both young. Tragedy happens, they die. <laughs> but, like, you guys were locked in. Is it, like, what are you doing? Are you finding someone else? Or are you literally going to go the rest of your life without like being in love again that's something that's always like stuck with me if you're older it's different right because you've had all those years with that person me personally i don't know what i would do but like that's always been some crazy hypothetical that i've thought of robots or not if i was him i would low-key be kind of i'd be trying to get my freak on low-key Sounds like tensions are running high. Since we're essentially confined within an enclosed space, we should avoid such situations. Let's step in and med me mediate. Huh? Oh, uh, nothing really. No big deal. <laughs> I swear if they're doing what I think they're doing. Uh, Jimmy Sam was getting worked because he can't beat this game. Alright, thank thank God. What's that? What game? Oh, you're referring to that object we found. Hard hardcore shoot 'em up. That sounds huh, like it's on a different website. I was having a rough time trying to clear it. And the man is saying over here was like, let me handle it. So I'm like, take a rope. Okay. Because someone was being loud and distracting. No more games. <laughs> what are you, their fucking mom? If the game is a source of frustration, then the matter shall be put to rest once it's beaten, correct? I guess so. It's like an Elden Ring boss, bro. It's crazy. Right. I have had that last part of the Elden Ring DLC film for the longest time now. It's been done for like almost over it's been over a month at this point i still have not uploaded it because for a couple reasons for one i lost a good chunk of the footage i still have the footage of me beating it but i lost a good chunk of the footage and for two i fucking hated it and i spent like 15 minutes at the end of the video just ranting about how much i hated that shit uh, dude this camera moves so slow i have to swipe my fucking thing four times across my fucking desk just to spin in one circle Reach the bottom! I'm not gonna lie, y'all. I might take a break after this shit. Let's see what we got, though. Who's the little girl? Oh, that must be uh, Mitsuri. I don't mind at all. <laughs> I myself requested to come along. Uh, bro, if that's the same voice actor, that's hilarious. Or actress, excuse me. They're like, yeah, so you're gonna be a baby in this scene, so just try and sound like a baby. <laughs> that would be hilarious, bro. It probably is. <laughs> He's awakening to his persona. Oh, no, he turned into a fucking monster. What? What the? Dude, you guys are fucking idiots, bro. I, motherfuckers be dumb as shit. I swear motherfuckers be dumb as shit, bro. Look at... This is the fakest shit ever. No little kid is gonna fucking... A, a four-handed fucking slimy black monster. No fucking little kid is gonna step up in front of that and try and fight. This is the fakest shit ever. If my five-year-old saw that shit, I'd be shitting my pants running away the other direction. No shot a fucking little ass kid is gonna face that fucking thing. That's straight out of horror movies. Father. I'm glad. You're no fucking five-year-old is talking like that. Who are you fooling? Not a single five-year-old talks like that. Aw, wasn't Kirijo Senpai just so gosh darn cute when she was younger? 
Excuse me, Iori. Are you saying that's no longer the case? I hate this bitch, bro. She is such a fake motherfucker, bro. You know that conversation we had earlier about the whole love thing? I already know what she chose. Because she already chose. I didn't know what she chose. Then again, we weren't even locked in like that. I'm gonna keep it real. We, we dead eyes got together like the last fucking month of me being alive. That shit don't even count. Here. She wants you to say it. That's crazy. That's, that's what that was. That was a test. I know how it wouldn't be. That was a test for him to get it to come out of his mouth. She wanted him to say it. I looked into them. And it turns out they were things that the chairman hid when he was still Yo, alive. Yo, fuck that chairman, bro. That guy was a bitch. Dude was a glorified pussy. He didn't attack us until he knew he could fucking win. What a fucking pussy. That's one thing this game, when it does it well, like, it does it well. It's always, like, putting in these, like, it won't be long before we themes. Discover what this place really is. Like, there's a certain vibe and theme of this game that comes out from time to time. It feels like we're closing in on the truth. And it really be hid. Then we should press on. And then the next scene over is some dumb fucking hot tub scene, or like, or scene, and, or just some random stupid shit that's like so unserious, and you could tell like, like, you know, what I'm saying? <laughs> it's for a certain audience. You know what I'm saying? The boys, we've been on Nintendo lately, bro. I finally got my homie to uh, get a Nintendo. Hi. He's already had a fucking Nintendo. That's the thing. This dude bought a Nintendo a year ago, and <laughs> he never fucking used it. And then he lost all his games, and now he bought another one. I'm gonna take a break. I'm gonna take a break. I I'm, I'm gonna take a break, because I kind of need one. We back at it like a crack addict. I'm pretty fucking pissed off. The Mets lost to Philadelphia. Fuck I'll the Phillies. It's such bullshit, too, because we really could have won up two games to two games to zero away, which would have been insane. I knew we weren't going to sweep them, but, bro, we really could have won up two games on their home turf, which would have been fucking... Oh my god, this fucking thing is following me. Get off me. Have you not even been to your room since we got They back? better be giving us giving me good reason to be looking at these little fucking premonitions. <laughs> Cause so far out of all of the little backstory like fucking scenes we've seen. Hey, that was a... Uh, well, it wasn't really that none of them have given me any sort of value to the story. Well, actually Ken's I'm not gonna lie, Ken's actually hit. Ken's was the only one that actually like hit a little is bit. Something going on? Then the rest of it is just fucking drama that don't nobody it's care about. I believe it's been what four years since I got here. Is this supposed to be her in middle school or something? She said it's been four years since she's got here, which would lead to it not being where she is now, which is the school that she's at. And, but she looks the exact same. I'm not fucking understanding. Wait, then why would she be here for four years? Maybe the school is one of those schools. Because I have friends who would go to school that was like K through 12. That blows my fucking mind. A K through 12 school for me. K through 12 is three different schools. That's elementary, that's middle, and then that's high school. That's three fucking... Some people go to one school from d the time they're a fucking fetus to the time they can own a car, which is crazy. Of course I wouldn't find out anything about Dad just by going to school. If even the police and the media haven't found anything new. Ten years already. There's a letter for you. It's from my dad. What? It's from an Aichiro Taka. Oh my is he a relative? <laughs> what is the what are the odds of that shit, bro? Get the fuck out of here. This fake ass game. <laughs> bro, I love this game. Don't get it twisted, but sometimes I can't take it serious. Sometimes I just can't take it serious. Oh damn, two men on, nobody out. Fuck. I want the Yankees to lose, bro. I speculate. <laughs> is that By Yo, the way, whatever the next right. Persona game Whoa. is. If and whenever that comes out, they need to make the main character have dialogue. I don't want to play as a silent protagonist. These games could be so much better if the main character talked. Okay, apparently this is the final door. Knowing how these games operate, this is not the end of the game at all. There's probably another 70 hours left. Marvelous. Even in the face of tremendous hardship, you continue to make great progress nonetheless. Another boss fight. Yo, Mitsuri, I need you to, I need you to lock in. It's a boss fight. Here we go. Hold up. Okay, we actually got some shit going on here. The story will develop significantly beyond this point. It is recommended to save your game first at the desert of doors. Okay. Finally, some shit that's gonna spice this up. Hopefully, from that message alone, I'm not gonna. I'm gonna save my. Uh, we're gonna save the spiel for the end, the true end to it all. Obviously, we'll save the spiel. But uh, let's get it. Let's let's see what this is about. <laughs> okay. 
So is this, am, am I looking at a, me this must be a memory that I'm looking at right now because she's not decked out in her combat military shit. So what's going on here? This must be a memory. I, I am. This has to be a memory. You. <laughs> you couldn't run any slower if you tried. Please wait. What? I. This must be a dream then, because this is this is how you run in dreams. Slow as shit, and then you fall. Yep. Of course. That's definitely a dream then. No, don't go. Oh my god. I. I wish I could just be a simple machine again. I look you wish for that too, because your dialogue was way funnier when you were a robot. Yeah, I want everybody right now to get up out their bed, and I want them. I want you to try and sit like that on the floor. I want you to try that shit. Try and sit exactly how she's sitting. It's not possible. It's literally not possible. As a matter of fact, don't even waste your time. Because I'm telling you right now, it's not possible. I'm not even scared of you. You know why I'm not scared of you? Because I... <laughs> I was trash at the game. And I had the wackest personas. So if it stays true to that shit, then this motherfucker should be sorry as hell. Just wind his ass out. <laughs> wow, that was easy. I'm sure that's not the end of it, though. Because I shit on him. I absolutely shit on him. I am sure that's not the end of it. <clears throat> yeah, goodbye. Get lost. Go back to the Shadow Realm. No, nobody wants you here. I swear, if he somehow gets resurrected, bro... That's it. I'm <laughs> turning the game off. Just, z like... Come on, bro. Okay, as it should be. As it should be. Don't find a way to revive him. I will never take this game serious ever again. If they somehow find a way to revive him. Personas and shadows are just different names for the same thing? I don't understand why this shocks you guys. When I grab a persona in the game, I'm literally taking one of the shadows forms and I'm I'm using that. Like I don't How didn't you know? Right. Wouldn't whoever created me and my sister had to have known that? Motherfucker, he didn't create you guys. The power of shadows affects both time and space. I also hate how she acts. I don't know anything, guys. I know nothing. I don't know what's going on at all. I don't know anything. And then we get to this point, and now she's just saying everything that's been going on. Motherfucker, did you know or did you not? Or why are we pretending like you know all of a sudden? What the hell's this now? It looks like a key. A key to our hearts. Those must be the keys that will allow you to leave. Oh, sick. You ain't got one. You <laughs> Once you make it outside, the abyss of time should disappear on its own. You ain't get no key. So, we just put them all together and we're good? Cool. Then let's get the hell out of here. The way he delivered that line makes me know that there's more bullshit. The entrance will return you to the present. But the other door leads to the past. Yeah, fuck that. I ain't going back to the past. That would literally mean we just have to restart everything. The past? Ain't no way you guys want that. The world of the past. You've all been there many times now. Why would you want that? We did everything throughout the game to make sure we could fucking eliminate the threat of the world ending. And now you guys want to go back to the world ending? Are you serious? But this time, the abyss will disappear if you go through that door. You'll actually be in the past. Yes, we gotta decide what to do with these keys. The the fact that this even needs to be something that we hold a team meeting for is blasphemy to me. <sighs> the fact that this is even a, something meeting worthy is blasphemous. Um, I want to stay in the present. I think that's what he would have wanted. Okay, someone with common sense. What he would have wanted, huh? I'm with Amara. Okay. We all saw the resolve it takes to face death. Who's gonna be the one? Septic. Who's gonna be the one who says they want to go in the past? Resolve. I. I want to go back. Oh my god. Oh, I knew Takeda would be the one to want to go back. 
Hira, you are an idiot. Yeah, I always tell myself to look forward and let go of the past. You know, it's funny. The, the most level-headed, sensible people have been the ones to say let's continue to move forward. And it's the hot-headed, emotional one who ends up saying they want to go back in the past. That's a message for you guys out there. We might be able to change something. You know what the message is? Pass that up. Mind over matter. That's the message. We can actually change the past. You get all emotional for someone who's so wrong. Then let me ask you. If you prevented your father's death, what would happen? That's what she was- That's how far back in the past she wants to go? That was ten whole ass years ago. This shit ain't going that far enough. There's no fucking way. The people you've met- Fuck no. Through with them, it all be gone. Right. And you wouldn't be the person you are now. Talk to her. Talk- Speak some sense into this dumb- and Miki. Wouldn't erase their deaths. Either. I don't know who the fuck they are. So. Every single thing about my past is important <clears throat> because it all shaped who I am. Absolutely, I agree with him. But that's not even. What? Uh, guys, guys, let's all take it down a notch. Wow. Okay? Plank is the, the the voice of reason. He's the one telling us to calm down. What a fucking what a character our keys went through. Take it down a notch? Are you kidding? Oh my god. Are you talking about your father? Or are you talking about blue hair dude? Because if you're talking about blue hair dude, first off, one, Mitsuri, now might be the time to, you know what I'm saying, let her know what 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 went down. If we go back, we'd have to face. Right, like what the fuck? And it just be the same. So you're just afraid to fight. Do you not remember what went down in order to defeat the motherfucker? We literally had to sacrifice somebody. Are you fucking stupid? But she's such an idiot, bro. Uh, I don't know what I'm trying to say, but everyone needs to calm down, all right? Uh, everybody seems very calm right now. It's only Takeda who's on bullshit. Uh, I guess, son, how do you think we should use the keys? Uh, I, I hope they give me the option. <laughs> I am. I hope they give me the option. The past or the present? I hope they give me the option. I'm just not sure. I'm a hundred percent sure. You seriously won't make a choice? If they give me the, yo, bitch, who are you fucking talking to? Are you serious? Oh man, you you forgot who you're talking to. I'm a fucking robot any day. I'll curb stomp your ass. The day we said our goodbyes, you were the only one who didn't show up. Oh, she's playing with my name right now. You got to hear his last words, and now you even have his power. She's playing with my name. But you still don't know how you feel about it. It's time him. to bitch fight, bro. It's time to bitch fight. Forget it. Nothing I say will make a difference anyway. I'm glad you've caught on. Metis, does everyone have to agree for the keys to combine? <laughs> she wanna go on her own. <laughs> that would even work. That would be like two different timelines. What? Not necessarily. The keys themselves don't have opinions. <clears throat> so in other words, it's possible to take them by force and combine them. What? By force? Are you saying you want to fight? I don't want to. But if we can't agree, we don't have a choice. It's seven against one. What are you gonna do? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. My bad, it's eight against one if we count the fucking dog. We're running out of time. And talking hasn't gotten us anywhere. <laughs> I can't. I have a point. She, oh my. These motherfuckers are stupid. This matter concerns the life of a dear friend. I doubt any of us will be easily swayed. It seems like we're all on the same page until she started talking. So in that case... Boy, Harijo-senpai... What are we doing? This is... I had already made my decision. I will stand with you, Kari. Oh my god. Oh my god, I'm losing brain cells with this shit. I'm losing brain cells. What is this right now? What is this shit? Why are we doing this? Oh my god. They're siding with Takeba. Are you sure? Yo, Akihiko, bro. Let's 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 team up. Everyone wait. Don't do this. No, I wanna see this play out. I actually wanna see this shit. It's two robots versus you motherfuckers. The two robots alone are stronger than every one of you guys combined. 
a place where the results will be absolute. Bitch, if we were arguing about whether or not to bring Kratos back or some shit, motherfucker, okay, this would be a whole different argument. But it's so, like, bro, are we realizing who we're talking about right now? Th there's so many cooler people at the school right now we could come friends with who could fill in the role that he had. I'm listening. Is there really no other way? There's plenty of other ways. It's talking to two fucking idiots uh, out of... Oh my... It, this all started so. because of Takeda. The others didn't appear willing to back down anyway. This This all started because of Takeda, bro. This is what we saw in the fucking intro, I just realized. Th so it's a time loop. It's not a fucking time stop, it's a time loop. Because in the intro, maybe the intro is just unrelated, it's just showing, like, what, that could be it. No, it wasn't even the intro, like, so it was, like, the very beginning of this DLC was showing us all fighting each other. It was showing us all fighting. So, it's a time loop. See, now you're robbing me up. I won't allow it. Now you're robbing me up. <laughs> Alright, motherfucker. And they got us- they got us fighting to a fucking anime opening. That's what this shit sound like. <laughs> Where are the other motherfuckers who started the whole thing? Keep in mind, Takeda started this whole fucking thing, and I'm not even fighting her. I'm fighting these two goobers, who I agreed with. I can do this. I'm about to whip your ass, bro. I'm about to whip your ass. Please, no reviving bullshit. Just die. Mom. Thank you. Holy shit. Finally. Such y'all lame asses down, bro. I thought we were gonna be teenagers. That took fucking ages, bro. I'm not gonna lie. But when I use them, they fucking suck. Back down when I go. We got like three more fights to go. We got Takeda. We got Plank. All right, who, who's it gonna be next? Oh, these two goofballs. <laughs> do, 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 do. What is he holding? A stick? That was 20,000 times easier than the previous fight. That fight was like seven minutes long. Not even. That fight was like five minutes long. The other fight was like 25 minutes long. I can't wait to get this next. I can't do this. I won't. I'm not. No, no, no. Anymore. We didn't. We didn't whoop those two motherfuckers and the ones before that just to end up not fighting the two who caused this whole thing. There's no way we're doing that. I'll give you Kari san and Mitsuru san my key. And this will be over. No, 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 no. That's not what we're gonna fucking do. No, I am not on. Tr I am not with that. No, you can't just let yourself die. We are fighting them. I did. And that would be. No, fine. no, no, no. We are. I, I cannot. I've been looking forward to that fight the most. Besides, you still don't know that for certain. It should be okay if my power core remains. No, no, no. We need to fight them. I don't even care if it means I. We need to fight them. Clear, are you saying? Oh, no, please. Can we just fight the two bitches? Please don't leave me all alone. I want to fight the two bitches, bro. The two pairs of people I agreed with, we had to fight. But the two bitches I didn't agree with, we had. We not fucking fighting. Are you serious? Yes, we get to fight them. You thought about what I said, didn't you? No, I didn't think about shit. All I'm thinking about is how badly I'm about to whoop your ass. That's all I'm thinking about. I understand what you meant now. Oh my god. There are four lit flames. Guess we're done talking. And I'm not giving up on what's important to me. Takeda, nobody's scared of you. Nobody is afraid of you. Nobody is afraid of you, Takeda. Nobody's afraid of you at all. I can promise to you, nobody is afraid of you. <laughs> Bitch! Look at that damage. It's gonna take a lot more than that. Really? Is that why half your health bar went oh, fucking got deleted in one move? Well, fuck me, I guess. End this shit. Goodbye. Goodbye. Bye bye. Goodbye. This should be the end. So let me just. I don't give a fuck. This should be the end. This should be the end. I don't give a fuck about any of those fucking skills. Goodbye. Unbearably hard. Pause! But if you don't face that pain, it will never heal. Pause on that whole sentence. That whole sentence is a pause. It's hard. Unbearably hard. But if you don't face that pain, it will never heal. Pause. Just accept that he's gone or forget all about it. That's a part of life, bro. Death is a part of life. Motherfuckers be dying, bro. That's the shit happens. But it does. He taught me so much. 
and showed me so many things that I've come to treasure. They be talking about him like he was the greatest person to ever walk this planet. He was the most mediocre ass and main character I've ever played as in my entire life. But before I could thank him, he was gone. He was more whack than the fucking Harry Potter from Persona 5, bro. He was more whack than him. And these motherfuckers really crying over him, bro. If he died, I would not care. Okay, let me chill. That's a crazy thing to say. You get what I'm trying to say. I wouldn't have really given this much of a fuck, bro. I would have maybe thought about him, you know, every now and then. Like, damn, bro. Yo, you're a real one. Time to move forward, though. Like, I don't care anymore. Like, you get to a point. This motherfucker's going... Fight to protect them, no matter the cost. Bro, his, his dick must have been amazing. His dick must have been incredible. His cock... His game, his cock game must have been fucking out of this world. There's, there must be something I'm not catching. There must be something I'm not catching. He must have been packing a, a fucking, a, a pool noodle, bro. There's no shot they're going this crazy over him. I care about you. He must have been packing something outerworldly for them to be what? going this crazy about him. Perhaps there's still an enemy for us to defeat. Oh God. <laughs> It better be a script. Our own feelings were the cause of this situation. It better be scripted then. And I guess this proposal would take us to the source of that pain. It better be scripted. I wouldn't be surprised to find something waiting for us there. This is the site of the final battle. Here we go. Time for bullshit. It's bullshit time. <laughs> miracle he performed yeah this was in the main game why are they doing this we we've been seeing this it's funny i said that even though i didn't know what the fuck happened <laughs> they barbed wired his ass up they jesus christ him <laughs> They really Jesus his ass. I'm already known some people are not happy about that. <laughs> when someone's life essence leaves their body, they die. Oh shit. To do this intentionally, he must have already found his answer to life. Or he didn't give a fuck about it to begin with. Can we just fight so we can get this over with? No way we have to fight Master Hand. Okay. of his seal. It's not meant to hold back Nyx. It's to prevent something from reaching her. What do you mean? That giant monster. It's not a shadow. It's a mess of the worst traits and feelings from every person's heart. Dude, what? Deep down, everyone is calling for Nyx. That can't be. There was a time when I also wished for death. It's probably true <laughs> that everyone has a part of him. Secretly yearning for it. Trying to give me life the only advice. The thing that separates the living from the non-living is death, the greatest equalizer. I think I understand. I got my hands on the keyboard. <laughs> life has no for what reason? I don't know. I'm gonna just watch this shit. This is an anime now. Conscious desire is so strong. It could even create a monster like this. I guess that's. Come on, what are we supposed to do? <laughs> Fuck me. Raise the tag. End this shit, robot. Got him. You already know it's not the end of it. This game doesn't know when to oh, stop a fight. We actually did it. This game don't know I told you it wouldn't stop us. when to stop a fight, bro. This fight's not over. But won't that monster reappear eventually? Because people will still keep having those feelings, wishing for destruction. Come on, let's use that key and go back. 
to our time. Yes. I think we're all ready to start April 1st now. Fuck yeah. Agreed. Finally. Holy shit. All that for that. All right. I guess we could have easily just accepted to all. Yes. <laughs> Takedo, I got a bone to pick with you. This whole time. Oh god, no, bro. I'm not trying to see you right now. Uh, what the? Where are Why is everybody here? You as well. Finally, that was so Notice. pointless. You... Everything that happened in this DLC was kind of fucking pointless. The souls of all living things are connected through a plane similar to a sea. Yeah. I think that's where I came from. Your heart is connected to that sea as well. You truly are alive. And from now on, we'll always be together, sister. I'm coming home. Welcome back. What the fuck? You've overcome this ordeal splendidly. And now you've reached the end of your journey. Who's next? It is time for us. <laughs> I didn't mean to skip that. About damn time! Hey, I guess wake up. We made it out in one piece. I guess. Wait a second. How does a robot even die? That don't make any sense. After we used the key <clears throat> to open the front door, we ended up in a room that looked like an elevator and while we were there i guess son whatever no i don't care i guess <laughs> i don't care mm. of course you're still alive did you call my name i guess um did something happen oh, she was just sleeping Jeez, way to give us a heart attack, you sleepy head. You took so long to wake up, we thought you were dead. Okay, when does this shit Let's end? See. Fuck me. When does this shit end? Am I forgetting anything? God damn. <laughs> give me some credits. I just got word. Our transportation will be here shortly. When does this shit end? You're taking everyone else too? Fuck. Yes, their new dorms are on the way to the lab anyway. And since we're all here, I thought we might as well travel together. It would be dull otherwise. I, uh... I know it's last minute, and might be too late, but... I want you to leave me behind. Would it be okay for me to not go back to the lab? Before, I thought I'd lost my purpose. My reason to live. But now I realize that isn't the case. If possible... I would like to keep attending school with Yukari-san and everyone. If it's not too Motherfucker, late. the bus is out front. What are you talking about? Well, it would be difficult since I'm no longer involved with Gekokan High. Blah, 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 blah. Your transportation has arrived, ma'am. Thank you. Senpai! I apologize, but there's been a sudden change in plans. We'll now be going to the school's Tatsumi Hall. The transfer to the lab has been cancelled. It's an honor to be able to stay with you all. Yay! Thank you. Ending scene. Damn, they got the CIA cars out here, bro. Fully tinted out. It looks cold as shit. I just by looking at the atmosphere, it looks fucking cold. It looks cold as shit, bro. Why does she get the key to lock the place? <laughs> that ancient ass key. Hogwarts ass key. <laughs> Keys like that don't exist anymore. That's the most stereotypical ass key ever. It's Weirdly, kind of sad to leave, huh? Yes, but change is part of life. Hey, so... If you're gonna live in the dorms next year... 
Do you want to be roommates? Huh? I imagine you still need one. I'm uh, and also, Takeda, after what you made friends, us go through, you know? we're not friends. Because we're friends, aren't we? No, nah, we're not after what just went what just went down. <laughs> that would be a friendship deal breaker. <laughs> <laughs> Why is his dog still with us, bro? He's not even allowed in a dorm, probably. Yeah, let's do it. I can't remember if they, when I used to live on campus. I don't think they allowed fucking, like, pets. I mean, I'm sure you could sneak, like, a turtle in your fucking room. But a dog, I don't think you could do that. I don't know, maybe I'm wrong. <laughs> Finally. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Episode Robot, Persona 3 Reload DLC, finally coming to an end. I'm sure you guys already know what I'm about to say. Look, this was cool. This was cool. I'll say this, Persona 5 Royal, the third semester of Royal. Oh my God. I mean, there's levels to this shit. Persona 5 Royal, way up here way past this shit way past this shit um this was okay i'm not gonna lie this was all right this i i i wasn't really i wasn't really a fan of this if i'm gonna be completely honest with you guys i wasn't a fan of this the music's always good i mean it's fucking persona persona's never had bad music all right let's get that out of the way as this music's playing in the background the music's always been 10 out of 10. this shit was so dragged out it was it i think the reason why i didn't like this is because it was combat heavy it was super combat heavy and i don't like turn-based combat my least favorite part about the persona games is the combat it is the dungeons going through the dungeons doing all the combat that's my least favorite part about like these persona games and that's what this was like 90 percent of this this shit only got interesting the, like this was only interesting at the the last the last hour of the game uh, of this DLC was the only part that was worth seeing. If I'm gonna be honest with you guys, that last hour was the only part that was like actually inter like actually interesting and entertaining for that matter. Everything else is just bullshit. It was just dungeons. Like it wasn't really that special. Um, I think they what I see what they tried to do, and it kind of. If I had to relate it to any other DLC, I would kind of relate it. It's very similar to God of War Valhalla. Except God of War Valhalla did it way better because it wasn't just straight bullshit. And also, I mean, it's not turn-based combat, so it's way different. But God of War Valhalla is a very... Now that I think about it, it's a very similar DLC to this because it's essentially a DLC that, that goes through, like, personal reflections and personal journeys and, and, like, the meaning behind things and learning to forgive and forget. And I think, like, God of War Valhalla did a better... Like, uh, did... God of War Valhalla did what this tried to do, just, like, better. I think this game, this DLC right here, sort of failed to get that impact. Um, I, like, it wasn't bad. Let me not say, I don't think this was bad. It just was very, like, alright. It was very alright. It was very, like, no, like, it was okay. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed this, but it wasn't special at all. This was not special at all. The game itself, the, that's a whole different story. You guys have already heard me talk about the game. The game was fucking fantastic. I love the main game. This DLC was all right. It was all right. Nothing crazy. Lots of filler bullshit. That's one thing that, that's always been a problem. I had this same problem in Persona 5. I have, I've also had this problem in Persona 3, like main game. And I've, I've, I've sort of emphasized it more in this DLC as well. There is so much dialogue that is not necessary or needed at all in this game. For example, a character will be like, you know what, guys? Like, we'll be, they'll be talking, and then they'll come to, like, some sort of... A, they'll be like, you know what, guys? We, we have to stay strong or some shit. Like, someone will just say that, I don't know. They'll be like, oh, we gotta stay strong or, like, we have to do this. And then, insert character two. Like, Takeda will be like, yeah, you're right. We gotta be strong for his sake. No going back now. And then Ken will jump in and be like, yeah, let's stay strong and let's keep moving forward. And then Akihiko will jump in and be like, yeah, you guys are all right. Let's stay strong. That is so unnecessary. There does not need to be a fucking whole fucking train line of agreement. It could just be one thing 
and then you move the fuck on to the next topic. There is so much dialogue in this game that is dragged, bro. That is fucking stretched way too much. And it pisses me, like, that shit drives me insane. The dialogue in this game, there is so much dialogue that is just not necessary at all. Not every character needs to say something. But, like, they feel like, I, I feel like every single character always, like, there's a, about a hundred lines of dialogue in each and one of those lines of dialogue is important throughout each scene. Whatever this next Persona game to make, I have a really strong feeling they're probably remaking 4. They're probably not even making a new Persona at this point, they're probably just remaking 4. Which is cool, because I haven't played 4, it's only when I haven't played- I haven't played 1 or 2, but I'm not going to, because they're, like, older. Um, as far as playing Persona 4 goes, I've gotten a couple of requests to play Persona 4. I've said it several times, um, so I'll just mention it again. Uh, I'm not going to play Persona 4 unless they do a, a remake of the game, like this. Unless they remake the game, I'm not going to play Persona 4. Uh, if they make like a new Persona, like a Persona 6, I'll play that, but uh, as far as 4 goes, unless they remake it, I'm probably not going to play it. Um, not because I, I, like, I don't doubt that it's good or that I won't, you know, I don't doubt that I'll like it. It's just the fact that it's, it's, it's dated, bro. Like, it's outdated. I, I think what made these games... Persona 5 and Persona 3 so appealing to me is the fact that they're newer. They're newer renditions of a series that a lot of people are in love with. I will say one thing about this DLC. I feel like if you love Persona games, if Persona is your shit, if that's your niche, if you fuck with Persona, like Persona's your thing, you love Persona, you probably love this DLC. You probably were absolutely, you probably were super happy with this DLC because there was a lot, there was a lot of fight, like there was a lot of Persona in it. But me not being a Persona fan, like, I can't consider myself a Persona fan. I enjoyed the two games I played, but I'm not, like, a Persona super fan. I'm really talking about, like, Persona super- like, dudes who really love Persona, like, that's their favorite series. They probably love this shit. I, since I'm not one of those people, that's probably why I didn't feel as, uh... That's why I didn't feel as affected, or as, uh, you know, happy with this DLC. Because it was- this was clearly, like, a love letter to Persona. Uh, fans, which isn't really me. This will probably be the last bit of Persona content you guys get on the channel for a long time. Um, unless something pops up. You never know with this fucking series, but that should be the last bit of Persona you guys will get for a while. So yeah. Let me said, if you guys liked the video, like the video, if you dislike the video, subscribe, and just check out the video. That is all. Thank you so much for watching. As always, Capture Remotes. Good memories. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.